Roger. Sweet. Hey mate, what else does call? Um, 47A. Okay, we're just looking for, look for that description. Hola. Could you just put us 107 as well with comms? First job of the morning and constables Harry and Orla are out on the hunt. We've been in the car less than two minutes but the police chase has already made cameraman Tim Collins car sick. Do the people you have in the back get car sick at all? Do they ever say I'm getting car sick? I've never had that actually. Um, I've never had that yet. Are you guys feeling car sick? <laughs> I am. <laughs> but that's because I'm looking through a viewfinder and then obviously you're driving going left and right so it's sort of, I mean like an alternate space if that's the right word. Oh, oh sweet as. But it's not so sweet as for the offender who's on the run. So yeah we've just um, had a job come in about a trespass so we're just doing areas to look for that, look for the offender. So you suspect that he's still around, somewhere like walking around? He possibly is according to the job so just do the best we can to locate him at this stage. Yeah, you can't really predict sometimes what what will happen. You've just got to, I guess, adjust to it as it comes, yeah. Do you have a description of the offender? Do you know what you're looking for? Uh, yep, so it's just, I think he's a black jacket, white scuffs. Grey track pants? That's the one. How challenging is that to look for someone in the dark? Very. And if you find him, what's going to happen? We'll just try and get both sides of the story, as with all jobs, and um, do what we've been taught, do what we've been taught down at the college and, and from our peers, etc. Yeah. Both constables are fresh out of police college. 22-year-old Orla graduated a month ago, and her partner Harry is eight months into the job. It's quite a change of scene for the two. Orla has moved up from Prebleton near Christchurch, and Harry grew up on Auckland's North Shore. Now they're on the front line on the streets of South Auckland, a district that's largely diverse and has the highest number of victimisations across the country over the last four years. It's definitely like been a couple jobs that I've gone to and been like, wow, this is a really different experience too, like in comparison to the way I've grown up. Yeah, I mean, I grew up relatively sheltered. -ish. Yeah, that's probably a good way to put it. It's completely different job. I, I recommend it. I love it at the same time. But man, a lot of the time it's not easy, eh? I'm just gonna be just to be straight up. It's not easy. They do a great job at the college, but I mean, as with everything, just the life experience in the actual job, as I'm sure you know with your guys as well, your guys' job it's just so much different when you're actually doing it as opposed to sort of sitting in a classroom or something. Yeah. Being on the street is more like applying all the knowledge that you've learned there. Is it, have you guys encountered yet a particular situation that you didn't expect? Or that came as a surprise or had kind of a profound impact on you yet? All the time, <laughs> all the time. Every day is a different challenge. It's crucial that operators who receive 111 calls are able to pass on as much information as possible to those on the front line. As soon as a call comes in, every second counts. I think you want to go as possible to minimise the time delay from when they've called in so then you can gather as much information. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Because you, you never know what's actually, what's actually happening. I mean, sometimes it can be a lot less than expected or a lot more than expected and you just want to get there as quick as possible. Oh. Right, opposite, closing. Sweet, you got your first um, speeding ticket right here. The buzzing noise you've been hearing is the speed monitor on the dashboard which catches the speed of cars driving past. Harry hops out to speak to the tradie who he's just pulled over for driving at 69 kilometres per hour on a neighbourhood street. I ask Orla what inspired her to become a cop. Um, just the diversity of the job, just every day something different. You go to a job and you don't really know what to expect. It's also pretty cool being able to police, police in a community 
um, especially when you get to know that community and just try and make a difference. Is it scary at all, ever? Oh, I have quite a bit of faith in everything that we've learnt. You have a partner, appointments. Obviously there's an unknown and uncertainty, but yeah. Harry hops back in after issuing a $120 speeding fine and 20 demerit points to the speeding driver and says being in the police had always been his dream. I've always wanted to help people and from a young age I always said I wanted to be a policeman. I've always said that and yeah, here I am, I guess. <laughs> what does it feel like to be living the dream? Awesome, no, really awesome. I've done a, f a few other things after leaving school, worked for my dad, which I which I loved, but you know, this is, I definitely feel like God's put me here, so it feels like it's the right place, you know? If you're comfortable, could you update comms and tell them to leave the job assigned and we'll, um, okay. we'll head back in to line up soon? Just let them know that yeah. effectively along those lines. It's still early hours of the morning, but the shift isn't over yet. Both constables are now heading back to the station for a handover meeting with other officers. County's Monaco South Area Commander Dave Glossop is Harry and Orla's boss, and he's been in the police for 30 years. Dave says the job never gets old, and he's proud of the team he leads in the area. Literally from minute to minute have no idea what's going to happen to you next and uh, we are trained really well you know the um, my, my daughter's in the police and is quite junior and I'm just so impressed with the amount of training they get um, the the way they learn to deal with things the way they think the, the, the younger generation are much smarter than we were proud of all of our staff but you know um, I guess it's having the right people, you know, the with the right attitude, the right mindset, and you see, yeah, yeah, lo lovely young people, really proud of all of them.